Hello everyone, my name is John Marie Sonja and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today my subject will be a uh, big rock here and then some bushes on the sides and then uh, a house here. So it will be just a random landscape everyone but I want to make it um, as detailed as possible. Okay. And please don't forget to subscribe here, subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we need and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And uh, this is the second step everyone. I'm gonna do the underpainting. Because you, you already see here the sketch. So I'm done, this, uh, I did the sketch first. And now I'm going to add the underpainting. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so I have here the blue. I'm going to use the... Uh, 1.5 inch flat brush it's not so small it's not also so big and white a little bit of skits here some trees in the background I'm gonna light in on this part here so that you can see a little bit of lights I will try a bit of reddish purple on the top we'll look, uh, so that it will look like an afternoon landscape Try to add a bit of uh, pink or reddish sky. There. You can add a bit, a bit of lights also here. Because I will just cover these parts here later on everyone. So that's why I'll just do like that. Yeah. And then you can try a bit of British and Pearl uh, Umber. There. A bit of, I think, bluish. Yeah, this can be some, some trees also in the background. Okay. Okay. Raw umber, a bit of blue. Just try to add it here. just do like that but this will be some trees on the background okay Just a little bit abstract everyone. You don't need to make it so good. Because this is just this is just the background. And later on we just cover 
most of the parts there so doesn't need to be really really that good just a little bit of stock it's pretty great okay and i'm gonna try to use this through umber blue and the red and a bit of white let's uh fill this part here Can you use a bit of raw umber and uh, white? There, okay. And then I will try now also this uh, nearer part here let's start adding some lumber we're just doing the underpainting everyone Maybe here, let's try to add. And in here, a little bit darks. And then, our uh, umber and white. Let's make the pathway. There, okay. And then I can use now a bit of this big brush, okay. Just a random like that, everyone. Sorry about the dogs and brown. They're a bit of nicey. Okay. I'm gonna use now a smaller brush. So the medium size flat brush. I have a bit of blue and the red. So I'm not using any black everyone, I'm using dark umber, a dark purple. Okay. This one here. Sorry about the noises. Very about the nice as everyone. Dogs are really nice. I hope I can delete this noise. We have here the blue umber and the white.
there so we have a house there this part of the okay Okay, you do not need to make it so good so look that look like I just want to uh, make it look like there's a house there on that part just make it so a little bit here put some white and then blue and the rubber Okay, as long as it uh, looks dark everyone, it will be great. Okay, so yeah, you can see here uh, a bit of um, houses. So I'm going to add a bit of lights also striking because my light coming from the left side as uh, from the right side everyone. So this time it will be on the right side. So I have here a bit of blue and the yellow to make some greens and white and then a little bit of red yellow and white there but uh, some will be covered everyone so don't worry about that go maybe brighter there and now let's let's brighten this roof the roof of this house i'll use the smaller brush but i'm gonna make it a little bit orange red and the, the yellow and then white Yeah, I can add a bit like that. That's like a lot of things there. Make it brighter. There, so we have now a brighter uh, roof of the house. You can see it uh, very clearly. And then I have to try to add a bit of the, the colors here. Maybe a little bit more yellowish.
there so it's look like there's uh there is what they call that um a pathway there so i don't want to make it so good uh no, i mean i don't want to make it so detailed everyone just you know, make it a bit of abstract or impressionistic yeah impressionistic would be think better yeah you can see here you can anticipate that it's uh it was hit by a very nice light okay and it looks good i like that I like how it looks there i think we can put a bit of a tree here we can put a bit of tree here on the side Uh, using this uh, bristle fat brush number uh, medium size number number eight yeah let's put a tree there oh, umber we have a blue a bit of yellow and then red just so much yellow here Just a bit technique, everyone. Just a bit of darks also. There. And you can also put some three, I think. Uh, that part, everyone. You don't need to put lights there because that part should be dark. Okay? And then I'll try a bit of lights there on the sides. And here also, we can add a bit of lights coming from the back side. It's low, uh, usually a backlight, everyone. Oh, it most, it looks like a backlight. So here, let's add some. Add a bit of lights. Add a bit of greenish. But this crazy one, not so much light. And even here, so we can put a bit of greenish. There. Okay, and then not just greenish one. I mean, we can put a bit of brownish there because it's so. That is so much. And not so much. Uh, you need to add brownish also there. Okay, I'm, I'm, just go umber and white. Add a bit of brown here.
there so yeah you can see now a bit of difference on the on the part so yeah i like that part of it so simple and you can let you can you can show the lights there because i don't want to focus on that part of it because I, my focus will be on the bushes on the left side it will be a lot of bushes there what i want to show a lot of bushes there what a lot of a lot of a lot of uh leaves something like that on that on that area okay so yeah i'm going to start now here so i'll be using a bristle fat brush so i'm about to start yellow and the blue to put the thread white so here I start to put So the colors are a little bit brownish, light brownish. And then you can also put uh, just light green. Yeah, just a random light color there on the back okay and then let's add now those uh, leaves I wanted to put leaves first but I want it to be darker first blue red and the yellow with romber yeah it's a dark green everyone As you can see now, the strokes are bigger. Looks like uh, random leaves. Just stopping technique. There. Now let's add a bit of I want also to put some orange something, not just like that everyone, but orange. Mostly those uh, dried leaves there. 
because I want to show that they are much more dried, dried leaves here. And then you can add a bit of light yellow also. Okay, and now let's add a random uh, tree trunk there. A lot of tree trunk. Yeah, maybe something here. So put one huge strong here. There, okay. Yeah, you can see now. Uh, you don't need to make it so good, everyone. You don't need to make. Just make it look uh, abstracted or. There, so this one run looks uh, it's a lot of a lot of bushes. I want also to use a smaller brush. I'm using the the zero liner brush. You can use a little bit bigger, you can also use smaller. This will help uh, to create a bit smaller trunk, everyone, or branches.
I just put a lot of things there. A lot of uh, branches or tree trunk. I just want to make it this place look busy, everyone. There, so as you can see now, uh, a lot of things going on there. I like the, how it looks like that. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of, what do you call this? A lot of bushes or this tree, okay? I will, I will also try to add a bit of colors now on this this side the white here here bro just try to add here some highlights and also some darks There, okay. There you go. And yeah, I'm going to polish these things first, everyone. Before I'm gonna proceed on the bottom part. So yeah, I will try now to start adding some uh, some branches, but hit by the light. I'm going to add a little bit lighter browns. There. Let's make it more brownish. And then, yeah, maybe I'll just use the smaller brush, everyone, because that is too huge brush. It's wet. Careful with the wet.
there so we can put a lot of lights there we can even put much lighter there Okay, so as you can see now, a lot of going on there. <laughs> I'll try to retouch a bit. So as you can see everyone, uh, there are plenty of uh, things there on that part of the bushes everyone. I'd like to show you uh, these things there, okay? And also I want to show here also, this one, the other, and uh, on the other, this uh, bigger woods, a bigger, bigger trunk. I'm mixing a little bit lighter for umber. It's gonna be an old trunk. I'm gonna need to use blue and the red. And then white. Yeah, uh, reddish. there so as you can see everyone uh, slowly everything's unfolding everything's uh, looking good I'll try a bit more orange yellow and the red
okay the lights now become much brighter i don't want it to be really obvious i will i will try to use much lighter color The light's coming from the right side. There. Yeah. As you can see on that part of the one, it becomes lighter and and you can see that it's the uh, light is really striking on this part okay and it looks really good yeah i like that part i like this part everyone it looks uh really realistic i'll try to uh i think sharpen maybe that will be enough okay so i'm going to proceed a little bit on i mean i think i need to add some more uh, greenish everyone yeah we can add also brownish or much more yellowish leaves there yellow and the blue no yellow and the red because this is an old growth of trees everyone so we can add like that okay and then i will try now to add a light yellow green i'll be using the small flat brush yeah maybe here use this brush everyone circle brush i oh, know round brush there as you can see now uh, the leaves are much better And then I will also put a light bluish color that it will look like a reflection.
เนี่ยสวัสดีสีเขียวแล้วตัดย่าโอเคเดี๋ยวกันสิย่าอีกกันสิน่า The trees are much better and a lot. Okay, so you can see chaotic um, the chaos on this area, bro. But because of that, uh, it looks better and lo it looks even realistic. I like how it looks there, I like how it uh, becoming much more detail. So yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Usually, there's no really, really uh, when you create or you new when you see an actual bushes it will almost look like that it's always almost look like this that it is chaotic and a lot of things there a lot of things going on there <laughs> it's, it's just usually like that everyone yeah that's what i am doing here i'm trying to do something like that i want i don't want to make it so good something like that i want it to make it look so uh, arranged the term is arranged I didn't want, I don't want to make it uh, like that. It should be like this, okay? And then you can add one more here, leaves. There. Okay, so at least, uh, so leaves that been hit by the light there. Okay, so. I'm going to use a bit a darker, oh no, I mean bigger brush, uh, medium size flat brush number eight. Sorry about the dog, but let me see. Blue and the red. I'm not using any black, everyone. That's why I'm using just blue and the red to make it dark or dark purple. Okay, so it should be like this here. There. Okay, so here, just add a bit of rock. So this is a, a huge rock there, everyone. So I'm going to start now adding also, yeah, wait. Here I'm gonna lighten this part. Using the bristle flat brush. I am going to use yellow and the red and then white. Yellow, more yellow. So here will be a pathway.
Der, okay. And then, I'll use this Umber and White. And a bit darker, want it to be darker. So romper. There. So we saw leave one. I cannot. We can only see a few grasses there on this part. There, okay. Okay. Yeah. And then I will try to use this blue and the red and then white. With a bit of umber. Can put a little bit longer on that. Okay. Yeah. So it becoming I becoming better and better everyone. Uh, we can put a lot of things there. A lot of we can also put a lot of uh can also put some some grasses, some falling leaves, everything there. Everything that we can to make this seen better okay to make this landscape better
there. I'm not so add air, something like that. Can add a lot of textures. Okay. There. Okay. I like this part, everyone. It looks so genuine. Okay. So here. And then we can also put a bit of darks, just through umber and the blue everyone. A little bit of no umber blue and red and then white. Yeah. Okay. And then slowly we can add now details or something on the on the road. But I need to add some white first. Mm, so sorry, is that one hit? Sorry about it is Go umber. I get confused with the colors. And then yellow. Can add uh, small rocks, everyone.
Okay, as you can see now, uh, there are a lot of things there. You can see now the details of the of the pathway. So I like how it looks, everyone. It should be like that. Okay. And what's right here? Look at the yellow. There. We can add with lighter everyone there yeah, this works. Looks good. And in here, I will do. I will put first some darks. Maybe just this number. So, more darks around here to create casted shadows. And then we can put now some uh, reddish purple, red and the blue, and then white. can see a little bit of, uh, we can put a little bit of umber. there so the view now everyone looks very nice especially the lights there so good 
the light looks really amazing and it even look realistic yeah i like the lights everyone it looks pretty amazing okay yeah that's that's how you should do the lights okay i'm gonna add a little bit of white here with the umber and then you can try to add Okay, and we need also to put a lot of, uh, we can put uh, some, some trunks everyone, or some branches. there so there are branches also not just there but also maybe here And then on the dark side also we can put a bit of branches. Some will be dark. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks now much detailed, okay? It looks like now much uh, realistic. We can also put some grasses if you want. It's not always that we should be, we should always do like that. That there's no grasses also. We can also put some grasses. So that uh, the entire view will become much better and interesting. Or become much more realistic. I'll put first the dark color of the grasses so i have here the yellow and the blue and then red
there. Okay, I'm gonna use now the bristle flat brush this one. I'm gonna use some yellow, blue, and then red. Okay, and then here also. And then now we can start adding much more lighter. Yeah, just a little bit, everyone. And I'll try to add you no know, bigger leaves, something like that, using this yellow and the white. Okay. Yeah. So even that everyone, those, those crosses there, it makes the whole painting looks amazing and much better and even much realistic. 
I like the lights there. I like how the lights is really, really striking. So I'm going to do a little bit retouch one here. I'm gonna add a little bit of one branch here that hit by the light. I think it will be a good idea. So I have here the yellow, the red and the yellow, and then white. And then we can put a bit of also leaves. There. And in here, everyone, I want to uh, make the lights maybe until here, hitting until this part. So that we can have the lines there. And even here. Okay. Maybe more lights here. Okay. I'll just add some retouch, everyone. Okay, so I think I'm done everyone. So I think everything looks good now. Yeah, I'll be, this will be fine for now everyone. I like the, I like how it, the, the details here, like the lights. Light is very, very much important in a painting, how you're gonna portray the light. So sometimes light's very confusing because you don't know where you're gonna put it. You're gonna put those highlights, those shadows, but you just have to think, to, to imagine where you're gonna put those things. So yeah, we come up with this painting now and so far it looks so good It's just so simple. The details are great. It looks realistic Okay, everyone. So I want to say thank you for watching this video today And I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting The more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.